Jones. It's your good pal Jared Dog here with another edition of the 420 Report, my daily live fake talk show, live video on Facebook. Adjusting the microphone so that way you can clearly see the 420 Report logo right here on the microphone flag on the fake microphone. The Bud Man is joining in the party. Maureen from Azusa, California, and Jennifer's here, and Sarah. Thanks for joining in the party, guys. All right, here's the deal. I know I'm in black and white. I think that's kind of cool. I don't know why, but whatever, man. It's hump day, happy hour, shit like that. Loose cannon of comedy. Jeff Lampton's here for the party. What's up, buddy? I'm sorry I missed hanging out with you last night. I had a parent, kids, parent slash kids, Little League game scrimmage that took place last night that I had to participate in. Keith said, join the party. Bobby Joe, how are you, girl? And uh, I had to go kick some eight-year-old ass last night, so that's why I couldn't hang out. But next time you're coming through, let me know, man. All right, low cal. Low cal cocktail for the summer here it goes uh where's my where's my vodka shot oh it's over here hang tight all right grab my shot glass here and uh okay here's the deal here's the deal I'm trying to drop a few pounds for the summer so that way and get this beach body working by august um, <laughs> and Jeff says, sorry for the drunk call, LOL. Hey, no problem, dude. You can call me drunk anytime, man. If I'm there, I'll pick up. If not, I don't know what to tell you. Just leave a, just leave a drunk message. I'll laugh my ass off like I did last night. Okay, so I got my vodka. We're going to do a shot of vodka. 64 calories only in this cocktail, all right? So that's like, you can do three of these. That's like one beer, and you're going to be way more fucking lit up than if you just have the one beer. So I'm going to pour myself my one ounce shot of vodka. That's a little bit more than the one ounce or whatever. You get the idea. Now here's the mixer. It's this, some of you might be grossed out by this, but whatever. I know a lot of people are addicted to their soda, their traditional soda, their Coke, Diet Coke, Pepsi, Mountain Dew, Sprite, what have you. But this is some pretty kick-ass shit that Mrs. Jerdog came across, which is a, it's a Sevia Zero Calorie Soda because they put that fucking Stevia crap in there. So you still got a little bit of sugar, but zero calories. And so I put that in there, and that's grape flavored, and I freaking love it. And this is going to be the summer cocktail for myself and Hot Karen who sent me a photo of herself trying on bikinis yesterday, and I could not get anything done. I put that up as the wallpaper on my cell phone, on my smartphone, on my Android, and uh, <laughs> every time I go to turn the phone on and I see my smoking red hot smoking wife in a bikini on the wallpaper i totally fucking forget and tune out why i originally turned the phone on what app i wanted to use what actually business i had to transact and then i gotta go take care of some other business and then i can come back and i can think straight uh, <laughs> all right uh thanks for joining the party guys i got this grape sevia vodka cocktail Jair Dog special summertime drink for 2019. This Friday night, I'm headed to Peoria, Illinois, to the Norwood Pub and Grub. And from what it looks like, we're going to sell it out. We're going to pack it out this Saturday night, Danville, Illinois. Not my first time in Danville, Illinois, doing a comedy show, but it's been a long time since I played Danville, Illinois. And that is at Cal's Roadhouse Bar and Grill. I'm looking forward to that this Saturday night. And I, just the fact that it's called the Roadhouse, like they just flat out fucking own it, that it's a roadhouse. A lot of people, they run a bar, they act like they don't have a roadhouse. They act like they don't have a dive bar. They act like it's like the best, freaking nicest, classiest, uh, most hip bar that you could possibly find in the tri-state area. When You just got to fucking own it. If you're going to be a dive bar, just go full on fucking 
dive bar. Just own up to it. It's like me. I'm, you know, I'm not necessarily a comedy club comedian. I'm not necessarily a theater comedian. Definitely not politically correct. Just own up to it. You're going to hear some no holds barred trash talking foul mouth bullshit when you come see the Jared Dog Comedy Roadshow. But that's why it's perfect for the roadhouses. That's why it's perfect for nightclubs, taverns, and neighborhood bars. Because that's the type of chaotic crowd that yeah, that type of comedy appeals to. And that's the type of chaotic crowd that I like to perform for because you never know what the fuck is going to happen. Hey, Bob, what's up? Matter of fact, I'll be heading to uh, BT's Bar. That's another date coming up next Friday night in Columbus, Nebraska. Next Friday, June 21st, and I'll put all the information of any upcoming shows in the video description above or in the comments below. And wherever you're watching from right now, just comment that. Just comment where you're watching from, and I'll let you know. Heather Lynn Ferguson, hey, what's up? Checking in from Jackson, Michigan, the Shamrock Pub. Now, that's what I'm talking about. That's a place, definitely a dive bar. Would you agree, Heather? Definitely a dive neighborhood bar. That doesn't mean it's a shithole. It's kind of a, it's a cool little fun dive bar, man. And when I roll in there and I've done my comedy show there like two or three or four times now. In fact, I've even brought with, uh, I've even brought, uh, hot Karen, Mrs. Jared Dog with me to a couple of those shows at the Shamrock there in Jackson, Michigan. And it always it's always off the hook. You never know what the hell the crowd is going to do. You never oh thanks for the share. You never know what is going to happen. It's always unpredictable. Oh, shout out to my friends at the Shamrock in Jackson, Michigan. Jaeger bombs are special all year long around me and you might be able to get some fireball too that's like mixing um the devil's urine <laughs> with a freaking uh nuclear warhead the jaeger bombs are the warhead and the fireball is the devil's urine vodka and lemonade jennifer says get frozen fruit water and vodka flavor the water with the frozen fruit all natural sugars. I love it. And it's refreshing. And it's something that you can kick back and do a little day drinking with. And you still feel like you're a health nut. You feel like you're not. It's like, it's like a guilt-free day drink type cocktail, you know. I'm not a huge fan of day drinking. Sometimes it can be fun. But if you wind up with a hangover like at 10 o'clock at night, that fucking sucks, man. I don't mind. You know what? I don't. I almost said I don't mind hangovers. I freaking hate hangovers. I really do. Um, and that's why I get in trouble at a lot of times when I do some of these dive bars, some of these neighborhood bars, because the crowd is so chaotic that it becomes less about the show and more about getting the comedian hammered, which can be a good time in and of itself. But the next day, it doesn't bode too well for yours truly as a traveling troubadour having to get up and then drive several hours to make it to the next gig but if i am going to be hung over i would rather be hung over in the morning where i've got a few hours of recovery time as opposed to hung over at 10 o'clock at night when the night's still young there's still plenty of time to go out and party but i gotta be an old fucker and call it quits you know what i'm saying like you gotta you gotta like uh, 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 <laughs> you, you got to put on your Depends underwear and your pants that go up to your waist and walk around with your hearing aid and your giant Coke bottle glasses and complain about your arthritis because you got to go to bed fucking early because you got drunk too soon for the day. Steve's joined the party. Nadia's here. Dorothy, good to see you guys. Hit the share button. Leave me some questions. Leave me some comments. I try to answer them all, even if it's on the replay. Let me know where you were watching from, and I will let you know when the Jared Dog Comedy Roadshow is coming to your area very soon. Otherwise, this Friday night, Peoria, Illinois, at Norwood Pub and Grub. We're going to pack it out this Saturday night, Danville, Illinois, at Cal's Roadhouse Barn Grill. We're going to pack that one out as well. Next Friday night, June 21st, Columbus, Nebraska, at BT's Bar and Billiards. Tickets are now on sale for all of those. So any of my Illinois peeps, any of my Nebraska peeps, 
you want to hit the link above, or at least you want to give these places a call and make your reservations, because if you don't, you're fucked. I don't know what else to tell you, man. Now more than ever, people need to get out, laugh, and have a great time. You know what I'm saying? Eat, no, gather, drink, laugh. Gather, drink, laugh. That's the motto for the Jared All Comedy Roadshow. Doug McGraw checking in. Hey, man, what's happening, dude? Doug McGraw, just to give you a quick story, was one of the first guys to give me a shot at it featuring. This is what, okay, so in comedy, you've got like the host, you've got the middle act, you've got uh, the, the, the middle act is also called the feature act. Um, sometimes there might be a guest performer or a showcase, and then you've got like your mainstream, nationally known headliner, or at least the guy headliner. I mean, it's kind of a loose term. Who knows what that really fucking means in this day and age? You know, there's like three guys out there at any given time in the comedy business that actually make headlines. Uh, but it's usually just the guy that goes last that has enough experience that can carry an hour of the show without losing the audience's attention. And that's very difficult to do. It's easier said than done. I know a lot of comedians are like, oh, I've got 60 minutes of material. It's like, yeah, you might have 60 minutes of shit you wrote, but is it actually 60 minutes of captivating material that will keep their attention all the way through? That's the headliner. That's the closure. Well, way back in the day, I rolled into this place called Joker's Comedy Club in Omaha, Nebraska. You know, just getting started out, I've had maybe that 25, 30 minutes of material that you need in order to be the middle guy of the feature act. Basically, when you're very first starting out in comedy, getting paid, uh, you, you are, you're in the middle role, which is actually the sweet spot of the show. You Generally, the audience has already been warmed up by the MC or the host or the opening act or the guest spot, whoever may have gone on before you. And then when you get up, there's the middle guy. You can just ride that wave of energy and deliver a killer set. And then, but without necessarily all the responsibility and pressure of the quote unquote headliner that week. So it really is a good spot for up and coming comedians. You make a few bucks. It's kind of like a paid internship. You got to travel around. You got to learn what being on the road is all about. You got to learn what, you know, the whole business side of comedy. You start learning that and you start doing, you start meeting a lot of the people that have been around for a long time, a lot of the veterans, and you, you pick up all the tricks and, and uh, tips along the way and then that and that's how you move up the ladder a lot of guys they can't quite break out of that feature spot a lot of guys can't even get, make it to that feature spot but it's a necessary step and it's one that i was fortunate enough to get the opportunity way back in the day i want to say it was like 1999 2000 jokers comedy club omaha nebraska and there were a lot of clubs that they didn't necessarily want to give you the shot you know that was at a time when comedy was dying a slow, painful, cancerous death. And there were not too many comedy clubs that were keen on giving new guys the shot, you know. But there was one dude back in them days, Doug McGraw, who ran that Joker's Comedy Club there in Omaha and gave me the shot. And then from there, I did a bunch of the other places that they booked around the Midwest. From there, I met other headliners. From there, I got recommendations at other clubs. And then from there, from there, from there, from there, just kept on building until right now. Here I am on Wednesday, June 12th, 2019, 20 fucking years later, having a cocktail with three of my peeps on a Facebook Live video. So thanks for watching, guys. This is Jared Dog. I'm getting ready to wrap up. That is a damn good drink. I might have to make myself another one. I might have to make myself another one. You can have three of these. They're about 60, 65 calories each. And so three of these in terms of calories equals one beer. But it's going to get you away than just the one beer. Because you got three cocktails in your system. Hitting you hard. Middle of the day. Day drinking. Going to be getting ready to uh, have my 10 p.m. hangover. <laughs> All right, wherever you're watching from, let me know. Cheers to you too, bud. I will be performing again, like I said earlier, Peoria, Illinois, this Friday night, Norwood Pub and Grub, Danville, Illinois, this Saturday night at Cal's Roadhouse Bar and Grill, and then Columbus, Nebraska, next Friday night, June 21st at BT's Bar. I'll be back tomorrow with another live video at 4.20 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, or as close as possible. 
until then, thanks for watching, and God bless America. That is good. Wherever you're watching from, let me know, and I will let you know when I'm coming to your area soon. Any questions, comments, while this video is ending? Got a little piece of ice there. Well, thanks for the likes and loves. Uh, I'm out of here. I got to go get something to eat. Time for breakfast. Dog bless America, guys. See you later.